Hey guys, it's Alicia from Devilish Angel, and today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY stripey heart bikini. And as always, I got you with the free pattern in my description. So for this bikini, I'm using half a yard of this heart and floral fabric, very much Lisa Frank vibes. And I'm using these cute little heart O-rings and of course my clear elastic. I have the link in the description for the heart rings and the elastic. This bikini does have a lot of straps. I usually always cut my straps an inch wide. This bikini is super strappy, so you need two straps that tie around your neck, one long strap that ties around your body, two straps that will go around the, your waist area, and then four straps that will be used to tie the sides of the bottom. So to figure out the measurements for the straps, there's three ways you can do this. If you have a bikini that fits you already, you can just measure that with a measuring tape. Um, if you don't have one, you can just take the measuring tape and kind of make like a fake strap and make a fake bow and see how long that measurement is. Or you can just make really long straps and trim them down to the size that you need later. So I'm finally done cutting out my millions of straps. I made a pattern for this and put it in my description for free so you can download it and use the same exact pattern. So first I'm just cutting out four of the triangles for the top. So once I have my four triangle pieces, I just started working on the pattern for the bottoms. I do make these patterns myself, so you know, bear with me. And if you ever do use my pattern, let me know how the sizing and stuff was for you, please. So once I get that pattern right, I'm going to cut out my first one on the fold. And then I'm going to cut out another one for the front. And then for the back two pieces, I use the same exact front pattern piece, but I just make it an inch shorter. So as you can see here, I have that inch hanging off at the bottom and I'm going to cut out two for the back. Now that I have my two front and my two back pieces I can just start sewing. So I'm going to start by adding the elastic to my straps so I'm just using my serger and I'm just laying the elastic right on top and sewing along it. Um, if you don't have a serger it's okay you can still use a regular sewing machine just use a zigzag or a hem stitch. It was a lot of straps, but I'm just going to show you me making one of them. I'm just folding the fabric in half and again adding that elastic right on top. Elastic is optional, but I do highly suggest um, this clear elastic. I use it for all the bikinis I make. And adding elastic to any bikini will definitely help to keep the seams from popping. So once I have all my straps sewn, I'm just going to use my strap turner, which I also have the link for in my description. Um, I'm just going to turn out all these straps. I like how in this video my nails changed so much. They were so cute in the beginning, but I feel like by the end of this video, by the end of all my videos, <clears throat> my nails just end up looking crazy. So as you can see in that top right corner, I finally got all those straps turned out. So now I'm going to do the triangles. So I'm just laying one on top of the other and then I'm going to pin the sides um, together. And I'm just going to sew the two sides and leave the bottom open. I do like to add elastic um, to the two sides of the triangle. So I'm also going to pin my bottom. So I'm taking one front piece and one back piece and pinning them at that part in the middle. So I'm just going to sew here and along the sides of the triangles. And again, if you don't have a serger, you can always do this on your regular sewing machine with a hem or zigzag stitch. For the triangles, I like to add the elastic about an inch away from both of the ends. That way, when I fold over the edge for the strap channel and I add the strap at the top, it's not super bulky. Sometimes when I'm sewing the edge, I miss um, one of the layers of the fabric a little bit, so I'll just go over it again. So if that happens to you, no big deal. So here's what it looks like once it's sewn. Now I'm going to add the straps to the top of the triangles. So I just measure out the length that I want. So mine was about 20 inches for each strap. And then I'm going to cut the tiniest bit off the tip of the triangle. And when I say tiny, like make sure you cut just enough so that the strap will fit in there. Um, if you cut it too much, it's going to look very um, boxy at the top. So then I just put my strap in there and just have it hanging out just a tiny bit so I can sew it. I usually put that side with the seam on the side with the elastic because that tends to be the part that I put um, for the inner layer. So now I'm just going to secure that strap so I go over it a bunch of times with a straight stitch that way it's really secure. 
once the straps are on there, I just flip the triangles right side out. So now I'm just going to sew the bottom two layers together to close off the triangle. So now it's time to make the strap channel, so I'm just going to fold up the bottom of the triangle about a half an inch. Um, you want it big enough for your strap to fit through, but not too big because you want it to still be able to scrunch up. And before I sew this part down, I always put them on top of each other to make sure they're even. Even though being realistic, I feel like every girl has one boob that's bigger than the other. But anyways, I just sew this down with a straight stitch and make sure you do a back stitch in the beginning and at the end. So for the strap that's going to tie around my body, I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to take it and attach each side to the heart with a straight stitch. To me, this is like the hardest and most frustrating part. But yeah, just take your time because you don't want to hit the metal and break your needle. But I just do go back and forth a bunch of times with a straight stitch. And it definitely helps um, those threads in the back right there. Uh, hold it when you're stitching it. That way they don't get all looped up. So as soon as you start um, doing a straight stitch, make sure you pull those threads. That way there's no um, loose threads that it'll make like a loop. I do that every time I back stitch and it helps a lot. So now I'm going to take my other two extra straps and just attach them to the bottom part of this heart um, doing the same method. It definitely helps if you have um, some extra strap folded over that way you can get a grip on it and hold it in place and then just trim it off later. So once all four straps are on there I'm just going to take my um, strap turner or loop turner and pull the two straps that are going to go around my waist through the triangles. And now the top is done and we can start on the bottom. Yay. So I already sewed my front and back pieces together in the beginning. So now it's just time to pin um, both layers together. So I'm pinning it um, with the right sides together. And I'm just going to go along both edges and then on the sides where that V cut is. So now I'm going to sew both sides and I like to add elastic on top. So here I'm, I'm marking which side is the back and you can tell um, by when I folded it over it was the shorter side. Um, because I'm going to just add regular straps to the back. I'm not going to add the hearts because I, I don't have enough. But I'm just going to pin that V shape on both sides. When you sew that V shape, um, if you're sewing on a serger or a regular sewing machine, you want to make sure to pull open that V shape um, like this. It's a lot easier to sew um, that way you don't accidentally uh, mess up that part in the middle. And I like to also add my clear elastic to this part as well and as you can see here, I'm pulling that part and kind of just guiding it through my machine. Um, yeah. So sometimes I like to go over that part in the middle, see how I, I kind of got both layers, but like not super good. So I'm just going to go over it again. And sometimes I do um, just secure it with the uh, sewing machine to make sure that it's not going to be a hole later down the road. So for the back piece, I'm just going to add the straps right onto the bikini. So I'm figuring out which side is the back. And then I'm going to pull the strap through one of the front holes to the back. For the front part, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be adding the little heart rings. So then once I get one in there, I'm going to put my loop turner or strap turner, whatever you want to call it, into the same hole and then pull the other strap to the other side. And then I'm just going to secure that down with a straight stitch. I like to go over it a bunch of times, um, probably like at least five, just to make sure it's real secure. So then once those are sewn on, I'm just going to pull the straps through and turn the whole bikini the right side out. I was kind of struggling because the hole was like super tiny, but I eventually got it. So for the front part, I'm going to add these little heart O-rings. So I'm just going to fold over the edge and use a straight stitch to secure it and then do the same for the strap. So again for this part you just want to take your time to make sure you have the fabric and everything and then the machine 
all nice and neat and just go over it a bunch of times to secure it and then you're going to do the same for the strap and then the same for the other side I compare it before I sew the second one that way I can make sure they're on there evenly and this was the final result super cute bright strappy heart o-ring bikini like doesn't get much better than this I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. You can always follow me on Instagram at devilishangel to see more of my work. And I do offer one-on-one -on -one sewing classes. As always, thanks for watching.